Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibboleth Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Where are you from this morning? Please let us know that when you hop on. And if you are a Shibboleth member, please let us know what type of day you are having. Now, today is Friday, September 25th. And we have 97 days, 97 days left in the 2020 edition of the Game of Life. Let's make it be the best 97 days that we can. So, hey, Polly, I see you on here. Good morning. So say good morning when you're on here and let us know what, uh, what kind of day you are having today. I had to pull out a strategy last night, and I'm going to share that little strategy with you. It might make a difference. Last night when I ate dinner, it was really good, and I really wanted to eat some more. And while I was eating, my body did actually feel a little hungry still. So I wanted to use that as I should eat some more, but I knew I had eaten plenty. So I decided... This is what I told myself, because you have to use those momentary strategies. I told myself, wait 30 minutes, and then in 30 minutes, if you're still hungry, then you could do a freebie or something like that. Well, you know, 30 minutes came and went, and I never thought about it again. So these are the type of things that we need to pull out when our mind and our uh, even our tummy, I still felt hungry at the moment, but it's probably just my stomach starting to digest food stuff. But we have to use those momentary strategies to get us through that. So uh, I'm happy about pulling that out. So good morning, everybody. I see a lot of people on here, but I don't see any comments yet. So I don't know if Facebook is not giving me those comments or what. But if you can comment, please tell me where you're from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. If you have a strategy that you pull out too, please share that as well. Now, one of the things I wanted to see is if anybody got this. Y'all give me some hearts if anybody went to the website yesterday and found this worksheet. And you can see I started filling in what y'all said were your favorite lean proteins. So I started filling that in. Hold on, I gotta write something down. So I've got all that filled in. And then I actually started doing some protein plus fats that are similar to these lean proteins. I just like to do that. Like if egg whites are at the top, I always just like to learn that whole eggs are category four. And right here where this is 96% lean ground meat, I like to know that 93 to 95.9% .9 lean ground meat is the category four, the difference there. So, uh, Anyway, I cannot see any comments. Y'all right, give me some hearts if you're commenting and I just can't see them. And I also need to do the drawing this morning. So I'm going to turn this around and do the drawing to see who wins a $5, a $5 gift certificate from the Shibby Shop. And our winner is Pamela Hubble. So I will get you a $5 gift certificate, Pamela. I will send you the code. You can use that code. You can use that code online, or if you do decide to drive over from Alpharetta to Kennesaw, you can use that um, in the store as well. So thank you so much, Pamela, for sharing. We certainly appreciate it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do the devotion today. Normally, I talk about what type of days y'all are having and everything, but I cannot see any comments. So today's devotion is called Redeemed. Redeemed. The verse is Psalm 137. Not 137, 130, colon, 7, 7. O Lord, hope in the Lord, O Israel, Hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is loving kindness, and with him is abundant redemption. I know we all need to be redeemed. We even did a, uh, a, a month-long challenge last year called Redeemed. But the psalmist knew Israel had a rotten track record. 
Throughout Old Testament history, God miraculously delivered the Israelites from trouble repeatedly, and they would gratefully turn to him, only to eventually slip again into rebellion and more trouble. Sounds a lot like you and me, doesn't it? But thankfully, ours is a redemptive God, a God who offers abundant loving kindness and forgiveness, a God of second chances then and now. So I know that you can imagine how we would apply that to Shibboleth. Well, first of all, I am so thankful for those second chances and third and fourth and fifth. But uh, you have to start by admitting that maybe you have a rotten track record of the way that you have chosen to eat over the years. Um, but thankfully, we have the opportunity to, to redeem ourselves each and every day we wake up. Every day is a new day, and we can go ahead and get started with a brand new day and redeem ourselves that day. So what I would love to have asked you to comment is, and if you're commenting and I just can't read, see them, no, that's not it. I don't know why I can't see comments today. But anyway, uh, if you're commenting and I just can't read them right now, I will go back and look at them in a little bit. But if you will comment and do tell me what type of fibrous carbs you personally like. And I only want a few, I want your favorite vegetables first because everybody wants to know the breads, okay? But I would like to know your favorite veggies because if that could open up somebody's mind into trying more whole foods, uh, I would, okay, so I got a message from Samantha Phillips. Okay, she says that she can't see her comments on her stuff either, but that there are comments here. Okay, so I know comments are coming through. I will check them later. I literally cannot read them. Thank you, Samantha, for telling me that. So, if you will, write in your favorite carb veggies and also write in your favorite carb category two bread. That way I'll look back at that and I'll fill in this sheet for you. Okay, so I will get that all done and we're going to have a shibby show sheet because it's really great to have a variety of these sheets so that new people can look at them and understand what we are doing, what we're doing. Okay, so today is Friday. I will see you again on Monday morning, but just to let you know what is going on, Jason is starting his focus challenge, his focus challenge. So please make sure that you have watched that video on the Shibboleth public page. He did that last night. See if you want to participate in that because those are really great. Uh, the I will be at Lake Martin RV Park uh, this weekend with my cousin, Benita Crow. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to meet a whole bunch of Shibboleth members that have joined from the Lake Martin RV Park tomorrow, do a class, do a wash of Shibboleth for people that aren't members yet. So that's going to be really fun. And because I'm going to be doing that Shibboleth work in uh, at Lake Martin this weekend, Julie Marandino is going to be teaching at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop tomorrow morning. So when I looked last, there were four uh, spaces left for uh, registrations. So if you live near Kennesaw and want to come to do that, you can. Kristen will be working the store tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Shibby Shop Sherry will be there today from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Dalton store is open for purchasing. They're just not having classes right now. So their doors are open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and today, or Monday through Friday, and 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturdays, okay? So feel free to shop. You can always shop online as well. When you hop off of here, please declare your day by journaling. I know that's part of many of our challenges, but if you're not in a challenge, you still can declare your day first thing in the morning so that it can help you with your focus. And that is what Jason's challenge is about. So if you need that focus, then join that challenge. And make sure that you watch the video, you mark the videos as watched because I have kept up to date this week. I'm excited about that. And please share. I don't know what's happening with this today, but there's a share button in your bottom left-hand corner or should be. If there's not, you can share it in a, a later time today from your computer or wherever you are. You can also share from the website because you get two tickets into the drawing for that. 
So I'm sorry I didn't get a chat with y'all this morning. Uh, thank you, Samantha, for letting me know that you were having the same experience when you were doing a live. I appreciate that because I thought, what button have I accidentally touched that has thrown all my comments off? So y'all have a blessed weekend. Y'all remember what we're doing here on Shibboleth. If you've already used all your holidays for the month of September, you do need to be perfect all the way to the end, okay? But if you have a holiday and you choose to use it, that is the adult decision that you are making. But remember, we are trying to reach our goals if we're in weight loss. And then in maintenance, we are trying to maintain that success. So y'all have a blessed day. I love you all, and I will see you on Monday. If you watch on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Bye, y'all.